Hey guys, Mark from Oregon Bushcraft. Just wanted to give my new Galaxy S5 Active a try for video. Uh, and also wanted to take a moment to give a shout out to Sean Squatch PNW, um, a new YouTuber. And I know he's got some videos coming out. He's got a couple slideshows up on his account now. Uh, he's a cool guy. Just spent the weekend with him and a bunch of other bushcrafters at the Oregon Bush Bushcraft. Blah, 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 blah. Oregon Bushcraft Winter Camp. We had a lot of fun, ate some food, and and uh, just had a good old time. Yeah, I'm not making fun of anybody from the South. I just felt like being a dork. So, uh, anyways, this is the first part of my VR to Forest Prepper. Um, stay tuned for the uh, review of my shelter setup. We'll catch you guys next time. That's not even important because I'm about to do a video where I say that again. Two cups of coffee and I'm still acting like this. I'm just going to go chug the pot. Hey guys, this is Mark from Oregon Bushcraft and I wanted to do a VR for Forrest Prepper. He's doing a giveaway and uh, he was asking to see people's uh, shelter setups. So I thought I would show you uh, the hammock setup that I used this weekend. Um, the, the tarp is store-bought. Uh, that's the uh, Paha Q HM20R. And it's a uh, polyurethane coated polyester tarp. And it works awesome. It's their, it's their double sized, uh, and it really, it really gives you good coverage. Uh, the, uh, the hammock and underquilt protector and everything's pretty much all DIY. So I made the hammock, it's double thick and then, uh, and then box hemmed. And then that comes up to, comes up to here. I keep the cinch sack around it. And then I just, uh, it's, <clears throat> the way that I did this was, uh, you know, I created a channel and then just ran some paracord through it and knotted it off. And then you uh, made an Amsteel chain link that basically loops back and forth and then comes under and goes back through. So it's basically a cinched end, um, you know, is how it works. And then I just, I just clip that on to a, a wire gate carabiner and then attach that to the old uh, Harbor Freight uh, tie down straps, which work awesome. And uh, it's, it's pretty lightweight. It's very strong, very secure. And, uh, you know, it, it works for me. It definitely, uh, it definitely fits my needs. Next, I have an underquilt that I made out of a Coleman Brazos uh, sleeping bag. It's very, very thick, um, and it's a three-quarter size, so it basically goes from, you know, shoulders uh, to my knees. And then inside, I use the green and black bag, part of the MSS sleep system. Uh, and it's got a foot box, so essentially the underquilt comes to here, and then my feet are nice, nice and warm. I, I used to wear a merino wool socks to bed, but my toes would actually, my feet would sweat. Uh, so now I don't use any of that. And then I made an underquilt protector <clears throat> that just kind of, that kind of covers everything up. Um, it does add a little bit of insulation. Um, and then it also, you know, protects you from convection. So as, as cold air is blowing underneath you, you know, this protects you a little bit from, from having some of that, that heat robbed from you. Uh, we hit 33 degrees uh, the night before last, and I was toasty warm. I mean, I, I really no complaints. I've, I've had this down uh, well below freezing into the teens and, and was warm. You know, I just wear a big, a big knit hat and, you know, I put some, put some fleece gloves on and, and uh, yeah, sleep the night away. So I just wanted to say congratulations to Force Prepper and all your subscriptions. Um, you know, I like watching your videos and uh, yeah, congratulations on all your, uh, all your subscribers and all your views and stuff. And, you know, always looking forward to, to more videos coming from you. So this is Mark from Oregon Bushcraft. We'll see you guys next time.